Hey, it's Dan Nickerson. I had a customer just ask me, how do you make a static front page and then a, a different blog post page, just like I have on my support site here. So you can see this support site is a static front page, right? I actually show some of recent posts and I'm using a short code. And then this is my blog post page. So they wanna know how to do it. It's really simple. First, let me show you the two pages in here. You see I have front page set to front page and I have a blog set to a post page. Another quick tip while I'm right here. The reason that these are at the top is because I assigned a menu order. I gave that one a negative five and I gave this one a negative two. And so they're always at the top of my page list. So that's a common thing. So a quick tip there. But to, in order to do this, you make a blank page named blog. And so you can actually see that there's nothing there. So when you make a page, it'll just be blank. And then you can set up your front page, however you want to do it. And then you go into settings and reading. And when you do that, you get settings reading. And this is the typical setup is your latest posts, but you don't want to do that. You want it to be a static page. So you go to settings reading, you set a static page to be whatever page you want. So I have front page and you set your post page to be whatever page you want. And I put blog. Now, if you're using like a masonry layout or another layout kind of thing, you still would want to set that as your home page, and you can leave post page blank if that makes sense. So anyhow, quick tip on how to do that is all you need to do is just make a blank page named blog and then make your own front page and you set them here. And when you do that, you get a result here. So this is that blog and then this is a regular static home page with a different look. And this one here is just if you want to use a short code, you can use short codes or Socrates short codes and and stuff that'll generate those looks for you. But that's a quick tip on how to make a custom static front page and have a traditional page at blog with all your recent posts. Hope this is helpful.